Chemistry lecture number 72, Avogadro's principle. Suppose we have two balloons each filled with different gases. One balloon is filled with helium and another is filled with oxygen gas. Both balloons have a volume of 22.4 liters. The gas in each balloon has a temperature of zero degrees and exerts a pressure of one atmosphere. So let me show you a picture of our situation with the data. Two balloons, one filled with helium gas, one filled with oxygen gas. They both have the same size, 22.4 liters. The temperature of the gas in each balloon is zero degrees. And inside the balloon, they're both exerting a pressure of one atmosphere. And then here's an interesting fact. The number of gas particles in each balloon is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So same number of particles in each balloon. According to Avogadro's principle, both balloons will contain the same number of gas particles. And this occurs when two gases have the same volume, temperature, and pressure. In this case, both balloons contain 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, or one mole. The helium balloon will contain one mole of helium atoms, and the oxygen balloon will contain one mole of oxygen molecules. When the temperature of a gas is zero degrees Celsius and the temperature is one atmosphere, uh, or I'm sorry, the pressure is one atmosphere, the gas is under standard temperature and pressure, STP. At standard temperature and pressure, the volume of one mole of any gas will be 22.4. So you need to memorize that one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is gonna have a volume of 22.4 liters. All right, so with this fact, we're going to solve some problems. Find the volume of 0.881 moles of gas at standard temperature and pressure. All right, so we're given moles, and we want to convert it into volume. So we're going to go from moles to liters. Liters is the unit of uh, volume. So to do this conversion, we need to know that one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 liters. So to convert it, we take the number we want to convert, put it over 1, so we're going to go from moles to liters. I have moles on top. I want to get rid of it. So I'll put one mole on the bottom and 22.4 liters on top because one mole of gas is equivalent to 22.4 liters. Moles cancel. 0.881 times 22.4 is 19.7 liters. So that's our answer. The amount of space that 0.881 moles of gas takes up is 19.7 liters. Let's try another problem. Find the volume of 217 grams of CH4 gas, that's methane, at standard temperature and pressure. So this one's going to have an extra step. They give us grams, we want to convert it into volume or liters. To do that, we're going to go from grams to moles to liters. So to convert grams into moles, we need to know how much one mole of CH4 weighs. So one mole of CH4 is 16 grams. If you've forgotten how to get that, on the periodic chart, carbon has a mass of 12 grams, and hydrogen has a mass of one gram, and there are four of them. So that gives you 16 grams per mole. To go from moles to liters, um, you need to remember that at standard temperature and pressure, one mole of any gas has a volume of 22.4 liters. All right, so that's how we're going to go from grams to moles to liters. All right, so you take the number you want to convert, 217 grams, we'll put that over one. We're going to go from grams to moles. I have grams on top, I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put 16 grams on the bottom and one mole of CH4 on top. So that's how we convert from grams to moles. Then we want to go from moles to liters. I have moles on top. I want to get rid of it and convert it to liters, so I'll put mole of CH4 on the bottom and 22.4 liters on top. So that gets us from moles to liters. So grams of CH4 cancel, moles of CH4 cancel. We're left with liters of uh, CH4. 217 times 22.4 divided by 16 gives me 304 liters. So. 217 grams of methane takes up that much space, 304 liters. Let's try another one.
find the mass of three liters of CO2 gas at standard temperature and pressure. So in this one, they give us liters and we're trying to find the mass or trying to find grams. So we're gonna have to go from liters to moles to grams. To go from liters to moles, we use this relationship, one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 liters. And then to go from moles to grams, we need to know how much one mole of CO2 weighs. CO2 is 44 grams per mole. Again, carbon is 12 and then oxygen, two times 16 is 32 and that's gonna give you 44. So that's how we figure out how much one mole of CO2 weighs. All right, let's do the conversion. We take the number we want to convert and put it over one. First step, we're going from liters to moles. I have liters on top, I wanna to get rid of it, so I need liters on the bottom. I'm gonna put 22.4 liters on the bottom and one mole of CO2 on top, and that'll convert us from liters to moles. Then we wanna go from moles to grams. I have moles of CO2 on top, I wanna to get rid of it, so I need to put moles of CO2 on the bottom, and then we'll put 44 grams of CO2 on top. So, liters cancel, moles cancel, and we're left with grams of CO2. So three times 44 divided by 22.4 gives us 5.89 grams of CO2. So what that means is if you have that volume of CO2 gas, if CO2 gas takes up that much space at standard temperature and pressure, this is how heavy it's going to be, so to speak. That's how much mass it has. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture Number 72, Avogadro's Principle.